<laughs> Julianne Murphy here with Live and Love Pura Vida and the website address for my expat blog about living in Costa Rica is LaPuraVidaCostaRica.com. This is day 12 of um, 30 days of expat living in Costa Rica and today we're talking about mail. So I'm actually in a location in Uvita, Costa Rica here in South Pacific Costa Rica. They're called the Uvita Information Center. I'll step outside in a moment so you can see their sign. They provide mail services like DHL. They also provide UPS, FedEx. These are things that obviously, depending on where you're coming from, they can send back to you to the States, to Canada, to Europe. They also do, um, they have a service here in country called Correos, which is the national system, Correos, and then the bottom is EMS, and that's their courier system here within Costa Rica. You can use this system as well for a lower price than you would FedEx, DHL, etc if you want to send internationally, but it takes quite a bit longer. So as an example, you can come in here. For example, I'm sending a package today of papers to San Jose to my attorney. This cost me um, just about $3 to send. It's going to take about three days, two to three days, business days to get there. And that is via the usual um, national system called EMS Courier. If you're going to use, um, I'm just going to show some prices here, hopefully. yeah. If you're going to use something like DHL, if you your, your simple package of just one kilo, which is 2.2 pounds, if you send it to Miami and Central America in that first column, it's going to be $60.50. If you need to send it to Europe and the rest of the world, it's going to be all the way up to 125 bucks. So that's just an example. If you send that same package via Correo, just look at the little, what we've got here. Which one is it? Okay, here we go. Via Correo, which is the national system, um, I'm just going to show you here by my hand, up to this third line here um, from 501 to 1 kilo, which is again up to 2.2 pounds, you're going to pay 21,425,000 colones. The colones ratio right now is 570 to 1 US dollar. So that's about, 21,000 is going to be about, let's just say, 38 bucks, more or less. But this is an option. Um, it's 15 minutes from my home, so this is an option that a lot of people use, even if you're traveling. But when you live here, you obviously need to have a place that you can come to to send and receive mail, and that's something that Uvita Information Center does here. They also have a system here in the back. I'm going to show you right here in the back. Um, right, that brown chest right there. They provide a depository for you to have a mailbox here for $10 a month. So this is an option for you to receive mail if you live on an ad on a street like I do, which is essentially the mailing address. That we don't send mail there because the mail system generally in here in Costa Rica I don't really trust unless it's coming to a hard fixed location like this. Our physical address is like 300 meters past the old hotel, up the hill, turn at the yellow bridge. <laughs> so those are the kind of addresses it, when you live in a very rustic rural location like I do. Um, but anyway, this is a little bit about mail. I'm just going to show you a little bit more of their facilities here. They also do tours and things like that, which is typical. Often uh, places here in Costa Rica need to do two or three things to stay alive, especially in a rustic location like um, the South Pacific area. So a lot about their adventure tours and things like that. And then they have their desk, a client. And I'll walk out and show you outside just so you can get a feel for that as well. And they're in a little strip center here. <clears throat> and there you go. Uvita Tourist Information Center. They also do Rent-A-Car. I didn't realize that. So they're at Correos de Costa Rica that you see here on the door is also what's... Um, there you go. That's the, that, the National Mail Service. So that's it. A little bit about mailing and receiving items and packages here in Costa Rica. One other note about FedEx DHL, if you're sending to the states, you can expect that to take, even though the, generally the system says two to three days, you can expect it to be four to five business days. That's safe. All right, that's it. Day 12 over and out. See you soon. Any interest in uh, my expat blog, go to LaPuraVitaCostaRica.com. And my business is uh, South Pacific Costa Rica Real Estate. If you're interested in that, that is Costa Rica Pacific Real Estate.com.